Hey you, if you saw my last video, I know exactly what you're thinking. What if sharks could fly? I know exactly what you're thinking. That was a banger of a video, Blee. It was probably the best video ever made. But, why didn't you run her over the crony, Blee? Because I couldn't find it, all right? Yeah, I kind of lost my chronograph. So, this is the Ballistic Precision G2 chronograph. I wanted something a little different this time, so I thought I'd flip things upside down a little bit, and also I lost the dart. If you saw my firing test from the original video, then you know things got a little bit out of hand. So, I bought new darts too. Since the average watch time on my last video was about a minute long, I know you skip monkeys have no attention span. So here you go, you filthy animals. Here's a full Game Face try and review in less than five minutes. Chronograph included. <gasps> Trying is a competition-ready high-performance dart blaster made by Game Face. It's another spring-powered pump-action mag-fed foam flinger, and it shoots half-length darts only. In the box, you'll find the blaster, muzzle device, front and rear ABS sights, a 15-dart magazine, 15 darts, a couple of spring spacers, and the user manual. This blaster is super tactical and features a long Picatinny rail up top and M-lock slots on both sides of the handguard. It features an angled pump-action foregrip and an adjustable thumbhole stock. Both of these are easily replaceable with whatever M4 grip and buffer tube stock that you want. Also, it has slam fire. Also, also, the Trion is basically compatible with every short dart mag ever made. The Trion can also adjust the shooting velocity on the fly with the tool of spring retainer on the back of the buffer tube, and that's the blaster in a nutshell. On to the firing test. <laughs> All right, guys, and welcome to the Trion Crony Testing. Starting off, we'll be using the included Game Face Chevron Pro Darts, and uh, we'll be seeing how they do. This first test here is with no spring spacers, just straight out of the box. Brand new darts. Let's see what she does. These Chevron darts do not appear to be very good. The standard deviation is too high, and these darts are pretty inconsistent. All righty then, and we would have had 150 feet per second as an average, but that last shot screwed us up. These Chevron darts do not appear to be very good. The standard deviation is too high, and these darts are pretty inconsistent. Starting off very nice, 197 feet per second. I added a spring spacer, as you can see. So let's see what the Chevron darts do with one spring spacer. 158, that's kind of low. Error. Alrighty then, so with this one, we went from about 150 feet per second to 179.9 feet per second average velocity with one spring spacer. Standard deviation is still a little bit high at 17, but it's pretty solid. Let's move on to the next one. I'm adding a second spring spacer. This is the full potential of the Game Face Tryon without modding it. Let's go. 220. 124. Hey, what happened? 150. This thing is so inconsistent. But I have a feeling it's not the blaster. It's these crappy darts. So don't buy more of these darts, guys. Don't uh, don't even use these darts. All right, here we've gained about another 20 points. We have an average velocity of 197 feet per second. Standard deviation is really crazy at 29, though, so that's not good. These Chevron darts are very inconsistent. And to prove how inconsistent the darts were, I also ran some Dart Zone Max Ruby darts. Yeah, the Ruby darts hit a little lower of an average, but the standard deviation was much lower, making them consistent at 100. 40 feet per second and I'll take consistency over random bursts of power any day. Next I tried the Worker Gen 3 and my nice Katana Mag and with the Worker Gen 3s I saw an even lower standard deviation of 6.9 at 143 feet per second so it seems the Worker Gen 3 are the best darts for the Tryon maybe? And that is where today's video ends. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far let me know your thoughts on the Game Face Tryon down below. Have you picked one up? And if you did, are your crony results the same as mine? Let me know down below. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. It'll help out tremendously. If you didn't like it though, hit F5 on your keyboard and watch the whole video again. Maybe you'll like it better the second time around. If you did like the video, I know you're gonna love the full review, so be sure to click on the video here to watch the full Game Face try on review. With that said, my name's Blee, you've just been tagged out. I love you foam heads, and I'll see you in the next one.